Welcome to part 4 of this Blueprint video tutorial series. In the past few tutorials we've created a really uh, basic explosive barrel uh, which takes damage, catches fire and uh, deals damage in a radius when it actually explodes. You can see here this is the graph that we've ended up with. Now this is a fairly simplistic blueprint with some basic functionality uh, and this graph looks kind of messy, it looks kind of hard to comprehend. Uh, everything's a little bit all over the place. Um, so you can imagine that when you're creating much more complex blueprints um, then everything can kind of get really unwieldy and really hard to actually manage and hard to try and interpret and it can be really hard to try and fix bugs or even figure out you know, what uh, section of a blueprint actually does what. So what I'm going to cover in this tutorial is the use of functions inside of Blueprint. Now, functions are a programming concept. Uh, the basic idea is that every function should perform one thing, uh, should perform a distinct piece of functionality. So if you have a look at this uh, Blueprint we've got here, we kind of have three distinct pieces of functionality here. We have this section which deals for the fire damage being dealt. We have this section here which deals with uh, the activation of uh, the, f the, the activation of the fire uh, particle itself and we have this section here which deals with how damage actually gets handled and what results uh, from damage and uh, damage being handled and uh, the barrel losing health. What we can do is we can actually take each of these three sections and we can put those into a single function which will actually appear in the event graph as a single node. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the left hand side here, there's a button called function. I'm going to click a function and I'm going to call this handle damage. And you can see as soon as I've created that function I get a brand new graph with only a simple uh, exit point here. What I can do is I can go back over to the event graph. I'm going to hold control and alt and select all these nodes. This is everything that uh, deals with handling damage. I'm going to cut those by pressing control X. Go back into handle damage and press control V and just reorder these around and connect them all up. I'm going to compile that. Now you can see what we've got here is we've got a function on the left hand side here called handle damage which contains all of our nodes for handling damage. And if we go to the event graph and just drag the handle damage function onto the canvas here, we can actually hook that up and now what we've got is we've got all that functionality being called and being contained inside of a single node which starts to significantly clean up um, what our blueprint actually looks like. The other power with functions is we can actually provide them with input variables and output variables as well. When we take a look at a node on the left hand side we've got everything that gets inputted into this function, uh, all the variables that we want values for. And if we have a look at this receive tick part here we actually pass in delta seconds to be part of this entire piece of functionality. We can set up a blueprint uh, which will actually accept a float parameter and we can break all this down into specific uh, one specific function as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this, cut it again by pressing Control X and create a new function which I'm going to call um, handle, handle fire damage. I'm going to paste all that in and connect up these nodes. Now what we need is we need to add a float variable in here. So if I click on handle fire damage, on the left hand side in the details pane you can see we have options for inputs and outputs. If I click new for inputs you can see we get a new parameter here which actually allows us to, um, which is allowed to be hooked up to any of these nodes. I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, delta seconds. It's a float. And our original delta seconds was hooked up as uh, the other parameter in this multiplier here. If I compile that and go back to my event graph and I drop in handle fire damage, you can see that delta seconds is now a parameter here. I can go ahead and hook this up, hook this up as well. So what we've done is we've actually significantly cleaned up our blueprint. Um, missed handle damage, there we go. So we've now significantly cleaned up our blueprint. Um, you can see it looks much simpler to manage and all of our distinct pieces of functionality have actually been broken down into individual smaller easy to manage nodes. So hopefully this gives you uh, an idea on how you can use functions in Blueprint. They're much more powerful than that um, but this is a really basic explanation. Uh, that's all for this tutorial and thanks for watching.